At last the kids are gone now for the day. She reaches for the coffee as the school bus pulls away. Another day to tend the house and plan. For Friday at the Legion, when she's dancing with her man. Sure was a bitter winter, but Friday will be fine. And maybe last year's Easter dress will serve her one more time. She passed for twenty-nine, but for her eyes. But winter lines are telling wicked lies. Oh, lies. All oh, those lines are telling wicked lies. Too many lines there in that face, too many to erase or to disguise. They must be telling lies. Is this the face that won for her the man? Whose amazed and clumsy fingers put that ring upon her hand? No need to search the mirror for the years. The menace in their message shouts across the veil of tears. So this is beauty's finish, like Rhoda's but a pretty maiden trapped inside the ranch wife's toil and care. But after seven kids, that's no surprise. But why cannot her mirror tell her lies? All lies. All those lines are telling wicked lies. Too many lines there in that face, too many to erase or to disguise. They must be telling lies. And she shakes off the bitter web she wove, gathers up her apron. Whoa, that's wrong. And she shakes off the bitter web she wove and turns to set the mirror gently face down by the stove. She gathers up her apron in her hand, pours a cup of coffee, drips carnation from the can, and thinks ahead to Friday. Cause Friday will be fine. She'll look up in that weathered face that loves her as line for line. And see that maiden shining in his eyes. And laugh at how her mirror tells her lies. All lies. All the lines are telling wicked lies. Lies, all lies. Too many lines there in that face, too many to erase or to disguise. They must be telling lies.